Hello, hello, hello. Welcome back to Fundu Tester. So far, we have discussed about a different type of HTTP methods, but till the time we have not discussed about a what to test and how to test. In this, we are going to discuss about how to test HTTP methods. Camera rolling action. We discussed get, post, put and delete. Irrespective of any request, these are the major things we are going to test first. So first one is a request body, response body and status code. Let's start with the status code. So for a status code, let's say if we are reading a get request, then return back, we will get a 200 status back. If it is a post request, then we will get a 201. So this is standard process. If you are testing a post request, then we have to make sure that we are getting a 201 which is a created so this response is for a post request if you are working on a get request then response has to be 200 for a get request response code structure will be like a 2xx which will it will which means it will start from the 2 uh, then 4xx and last one is a 5xx so these all are the basic response code that you have to remember so 200 means success 400 means client error and 500 means server error so whenever we are hitting a multiple request and for example let's say we are getting a response code starting with a 2 which means our api trigger is a successful apart from this if we are getting a 4xx which means it's a client error what does it mean we are passing invalid data to the server so if you are hitting a request from the web browser or mobile application or Let's say in a testing phase, we are working on an automation or a postman. So if we are hitting from a postman or automation code and we are getting a 4xx status code starting with the 4. So which means we are sending an invalid data to the server. That's why we are getting a client side error and server side error which start with the 5, which means we are getting a server side errors. Maybe server is down or some service is down due to that we are getting a 500 error message so these all are the basic standard and here if you are wo working on a post request and we are getting a status code 200 for a post request then straight forward we can tell development team hey this is the bug and you have to fix that status code has to be the appropriate for the post request it has to be 201 instead of 200 so this is how for a status code we have to make sure all the status codes are appropriate so if he's talking about the status code so there will be a multiple numbers for each and every uh, successful or failure request so if you are talking about a success so it will be 200 201 202 there will be a complete series if you are talking about three uh, starting with the three then there will be a complete series if you are talking about a client side response client errors so it will start from the four and it will go four 400 401 402 uh, 404 like this it will go on and uh, last one will be a server response so we discussed about the server side error which will start from the 5 so 500 501 502 but we no need to memorize this stuff we have to just make sure that if you are starting from the 5 then it has to be a server error we can go to the backend team and we can say hey server is down if it's a client side error then we are getting a 4 it is starting from the 4 then we have to make sure that whatever data we are sending to the server it has to be a correct but again if we, in real time let's say we are getting a 502 then we can straightforward go google it and we can check what is the meaning of a 502 otherwise if you are getting something like 429 then we can say for, uh, it's a 429 and it is because of a too many requests which means from one client server is uh, receiving so many requests at the same time so that's why server is throwing a 429 so this is what we have to understand for each and every request code but no need to memorize thing no one is going to ask for in an interview we have to make sure we, if we are getting any response then that response has to be meaningful next let's discuss about a request body and how to test a request body during the post request understanding we discussed about a add to cart product so there we are passing a uh, request body like this and that time we have passed uh, for add to product like a couple of a properties like a product name product size model and color so for example let's say i wanted to test this then how it, this can be done here uh, basically we are providing a couple of parameters these are name size model color so these all are a predefined property so someone is stored in a database that in a particular store or on particular website there are a couple of products available and these are the product details so these are the predefined property like a name it has to be iphone size 
इट विल बी अवेलेबल ऑन डिफरेंट वेरियंट लाइक सिक्सटी फोर है वन ट्वेंटी एट है सो दिस आर अ प्री डिफाइंड डेटा ऑफ अ साइज अगेन द मॉडल मॉडल हैज टू बी थर्टीन फोर्टीन फिफ्टीन सम वन शुड नॉट एबल टू एंटर लेट से सेवनटीन फोर्ट फाइव सो दिस हैव टू वी हैव टू बेसिकली टेस्ट ईच एंड एवरी फील्ड एंड वी हैव टू मेक अ रिक्वेस्ट इफ रिक्वेस्ट हैज टू बी सक्सेसफुल सक्सेसफुल फॉर सक्सेस डेटा एंड फेलियर फॉर अ इनवेलिड डेटा सो फॉर एग्जाम्पल हियर लेट से वी हैव टू टेस्ट साइज फील्ड साइज फील्ड एंड वी आर पासिंग अ मल्टीपल डेटा सो साइज इट विल टेक सिक्सटी फोर और वन ट्वेंटी एट इफ आई एम पासिंग सिक्सटी फोर एंड वन टेन ट्वेंटी एट देन इट शुड एक्सेप्ट एंड आई विल आई शुड गेट टू नॉट वन विच इज अ क्रिएटेड इफ आई एम पासिंग लेट से आई एम पासिंग इनवेलिड साइज विच इज अ टू हंड्रेड यू नो आईफोन इज नॉट अवेलेबल इन टू हंड्रेड जी बी साइज सो दिस टाइम इट हैज टू बी फेल अपार्ट फ्रॉम दिस न्यूमेरिक डेटा आई कैन पास अल्फा न्यूमेरिक डेटा लाइक सिक्सटी फोर ए बी सी इट शुड फेल इफ आई एम पासिंग ओनली अल्फा न्यूमेरिक डेटा ए बी सी इट शुड फेल इफ आई एम पासिंग इनवेलिड और स्पेशल कैरेक्टर लाइक एक्सपेटिस एंड क्वेश्चन मार्क ऑल दिस थिंग्स दैन इट शुड फेल सो फॉर वन फील्ड आई कैन कम अप विद द मल्टीपल टेस्ट केसेस बेस्ड ऑन द एयर गेसिंग टेक्निक्स बाउंड्री वैल्यू एनालिसिस और इफ आई हैव टू मेक सम आई लेट्स आई हैव टू अप्लाई सम फिल्टर ऑन एनी प्रोडक्ट लेट्स आई एम सर्चिंग ऑन अ प्रोडक्ट एंड आई हैव टू अप्लाई अ फिल्टर लाइक अ साइज ब्रांड कलर पेटर्न सो मल्टीपल पैरामीटर्स आई एम पासिंग एंड बेस्ड ऑन देट माई सर्च शुड कम सो मल्टीपल फिल्टर आई कैन मेक अ मल्टीपल पेयर सो आई हैव टू गो विथ अ पेयर वाइज टेक्निक टू कम अप विद द टेस्ट केसेस सो इफ यू डोंट नो वॉट इज अ टेस्ट केस डिजाइन टेक्निक एंड हाउ टू अप्लाई टेस्ट केस डिजाइन टेक्निक देन आई हैव क्रिएटेड अ वंडरफुल ट्यूटोरियल ऑन माई सॉफ्टवेयर टेस्टिंग ट्यूटोरियल दैट इज अवेलेबल ऑन माई यूट्यूब चैनल सो यू कैन गो थ्रू एंड यू कैन चेक दोज सो कम अगेन हियर Uh, here for a one field we can test like a, this kind of a multiple scenario so apart from model again the same way we have to go for a model like a 13 uh, 14 15 so this all things we have to make sure we have to pass the data and again for a invalid pair for example iphone uh, 15 is available for a 264 gb and iphone 13 is available only 64 and let's say 128 gb so If I am selecting an iPhone 13, then it has to be a 34 or 128. If I am selecting iPhone 15, and then it has to be 15 plus uh, 264. 64 is a valid for iPhone 13. If I am passing with iPhone 15 with 64, then it has to be error. So this kind of scenarios we have to come up with. So for each and every request, we have to make sure that uh, for a defined or business field or basic field we have to check with a multiple combination so this is the one way of doing a testing apart from that i here i have multiple fields like 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 data we are passing while adding product to the cart this four things are mandatory but these two things are not mandatory so what we have to do for example let's say we have to build a request like this we have to pass the name size model and model and color we have to bypass we are not passing a color and then we have to pass this to data so color is a mandatory field and we are not sending to the server while place uh, triggering a request so that time it has to uh, client side error if i am passing all the mandatory fields and i am not passing a non mandatory fields that time it should work because this field are a not mandatory field server should throw an success message if i am missing a mandatory field then server should pass a successful message so this is how we can test a request body similar way we have to test a re response body as well so in response also we will get some meaningful json like this we will get some json data so for that we can not going to change anything we can not change basically we are just getting a predefined data what server is wanted to show to the client so by that time we have to make sure that all the valid data has to be there with the request body if if i am adding a product to the cart then my message should be success product has successfully added to the cart so like that i should get a meaningful message if i am getting a success and uh, along with the response i will get product added so it's kind of missing sentence so there is some bug with the sentence so basically i should get a proper response body i have to make sure all the data with the response body has to be correct so that was a one part how we can test each and every api at a unit level but now we have to understand how we can test api in a sequential flow for example let's say we are working on instagram and there we are performing a couple of operations so there what we can do we can basically add upload a image 
we can get image like to check the likes and comments we can get the image we can edit the caption so that is a edit operation so similar way for a let's say flip card we have multiple operations performed and first one is a post operations we have using a post operation what we did we have added product to the card so first we have triggered this request add product we have added product to the card and product we have added is a iphone so we have added iphone on a card but the question is how can i make sure product is added if i also get a success message but product is not added then how can i check so basically after post request i need to trigger the get request and there is a one api which is a get card so using get card i have to make sure if i have added iphone or let's say another Le uh, levi's jeans then the product has to be come via get request so first i have to make a post call and then i have to make a get call to make sure that whatever data has been created by the post request is successfully done and data is present on a card now let's say i wanted to update something so i can make a uh, update api call and i can basically update the quantity so earlier it was a one now let's say iphone i wanted to make it a two so if again i am here again i am making a get call by the time quantity has to be a two now let's say i wanted to delete one quantity so i will make a delete request and i will i will delete something from the cart so let's say now quantity will become a one then again i have to make a get call get call and make sure that quantity has to be one and this has to be the same iphone now iphone has to be one on cart so here we have fired multiple requests like a uh, uh, first we did a post and then get then update then get and then delete then get this way we have made sure that we have tested all the apis in a sequential flow and all the apis are working and uh, whatever data we have triggered along with this request are successfully being updated so this is how we have to make sure if you are working on a sequential flow then all the data has to be validated or has to be updated and uh, added properly on the server and along with the database so this is the one lay one way of a testing uh, multiple apis now you might be thinking what if i don't have get request i don't have this get request then how can i make sure that whatever data i have created via post request is created or not so for that time basically we have to go to the database basically this data will reflect somewhere on a server basically on a database so we have to go to particular table using automation or manually we can go we can log into the database and we have to go to the add product table and we have to run the query and we need to get the uh, details if data is added to the cart or not so data has to be there on a database so this is the long way of process or sometimes if they are critical data like i am working on a healthcare industry and uh, uh, customers or client data are being stored like a blood group or health reports so those are very very critical data if some patient will go to the doctor with invalid reports then invalid medication start and there will be health problem and so many things will going to happen to avoid that if i'm working on a critical industry and or critical product then i have to make sure that i'm checking the data with a get request data has to be correct then again i have to go to the deep next layer deep validations i have to go to the database and i have to make sure that data has to be the correct one so this is how we can test different apis like a get post put and delete i hope this video is informative and if you have any doubt feel free to ask me in a comment section and i hope you like this video and don't forget to share with your friends thank you so much